So Governor Mike Huckabee joins us now. Sir, good to have you on. We, we've been debunking many of the, the stories that they use to scare people away from, from voting Republican, from voting for Donald Trump. Um, here, here's another one that we always hear about banning books. I never thought I'd be a president who was fighting against elected officials trying to ban and banning books. Empty shelves don't help kids learn very much. And I've never met a parent who wants a politician dictating what their kid can learn and what they can think or who they can be. Uh, it's, uh, they're talking about, obviously, the bans are on books that are filth and perverse content for kids. Um, they, they claim Florida was trying to ban black history. We heard that so many times. In truth, Florida simply rejected African-American studies, of course, because it was determined to have actual Marxist theory built into it. Um, but it, it is amazing. Everything that they spurn up the outrage over is generally manufactured by them. Oh, absolutely. You know, when Joe says, I never thought I'd see a president wanting to ban books, let me just say, hey, Joe, I never thought I'd see a president that thought that you didn't know what a woman was, that somehow that women <laughs> uh, were going to have to compete with biological men in sports and they're supposed to shut up and think it's great. I never thought I'd see a president who supported the notion of having drag queens go and read story hour to four and five year olds because somehow we're supposed to think that it is normal for some cross dresser to show up at a school and read ridiculously pornographic and obscene stories to little kids and began grooming them for some perversion later in life. I never thought I'd see a president push that stuff, but we're seeing it. It's why we got to get rid of Joe, November the 5th. I think the beginning of that comes this Thursday night in the debate. I don't care who, lets, uh, who CNN lets moderate the thing. Trump's going to be on his best game. And Joe Biden, I'm not sure he will know he's in the game. That's going to be the story Thursday night. Yeah. You know, for, for seven years, um, they, they pushed the good people on both sides hoax. Uh, and as I just said, Snopes, which is a professional fact-checking service, has only now admitted that that never happened. Uh, that, that to me is, I mean, that's all they do is fact-check. And that's one of the most effective and powerful lies that this country had. I mean, think about how much political clout they built off that lie. Yeah, and it's kind of unfortunate they're considered so very credible. They're sort of like the uh, Southern yeah. uh, Poverty Law Center that's a big fraud. Snopes is really left of center, always has been. Uh, they call themselves fact checkers. Anytime I see that term fact checker, especially if it comes from the Washington Post or the New York Times, I'm thinking they'd be better being fat checkers and checking people's bellies than they would checking facts because they only want to check the facts that they agree with. Yeah. But in this case, after seven years, I, I mean, they were kind of in a corner. The, the truth is the truth, and it doesn't matter who says it. That's why I think it's just so ridiculous. Stuff like you showed earlier with Casey Hunt, yeah. and she can't stand the fact that the people on her network, the two people who are going to be hosting and moderating this debate, are so biased against Donald Trump and have been vocal to the point of being absurd, mm. and somehow we're supposed to believe they're journalists? My gosh, if they're journalists, then I'm a journalist. <laughs> and I've never pretended to be one, nor even say I play one on TV. I'm a highly opinionated <laughs> uh, commentator who is a Republican Party yeah. office holder for 15 years. So yeah. I'm not going to pretend, oh, I'm an unbiased journalist. No, I'm not. Good gosh. But neither are they. I just wish they'd be a little more honest about it. Me too. That's what drives me so crazy after working in this business for so long to see all these. I mean, if, if Tapper had an opinion show every night, I wouldn't care. I, I torture yeah. him so much because he earns it by lying to everybody every day. Mike Huckabee, thank you, sir, very much. We appreciate it.